Hi everyone, this is Space Toad, and today finally I can show you a tutorial of the new really release Buildcraft 2.2.0. Couple of disclaimers first. Um, this is still called beta. Features are mainly implemented now, but there is a couple of bugs to fix. There has been a huge amount of changes in the way liquids are handled in this one, so there is likely to be a couple of problems there too. Um, so that's still considered unstable. Also because of the amount of changes that have happened, uh, there is only single player mode released uh, for 2.2.0. Multiplayer mode will come later on along with additional bug fixes. But uh, let's dive into the new stuff. So this is um, again on the energy enhancements part of things. Uh, however, uh, the first thing that have been updated is pipes. It used to be the case uh, in the previous release that you could transfer liquids and items in pipes. That has changed now you need dedicated pipes to transfer liquids and these pipes need to uh, be crafted separately uh, if you look at this uh, inventory here I've got all of these other the regular pipes which are now called transport pipes meaning transporting items if I want to create uh, liquid pipes I am going to need to upgrade these things going to take those that can be upgraded. There is iron, wooden, cobblestone, stone and gold. And for that, for the upgrade, I'm going to need to create some kind of waterproof. And this is going to be extracted from the cactus green. And yes, all of these cactus farms that you guys have been working on so hard for such a long time are finally going to get into some use. Let's see the crafting thing. Um, it's rather easy. Just take one of the regular pipes, like the um, cobblestone one, which is the basic one. Oh, no, by the way, we need the, the waterproof first. So for that, just take the cactus green, and that creates waterproof straight out. Now, let's do what I wanted to do earlier. Take a cobblestone pipe, put the waterproof, and that creates cobblestone waterproof pipe which is going to be able to transfer liquids. Uh, let's take a few of these, like 10 should be enough. Uh, same goes for wood, uh, stone, as well as uh, gold, which um, is another enhancement here. In the previous release uh, golden pipe didn't make any difference. Now they're going to accelerate uh, transfer liquids. Let's get everything in. Besides that, these things work like regular pipes in terms of connection. You can place them in the world, uh, connect. Nah. Yep. Connect them. Um, as for regular pipes, you cannot connect stone and cobblestone, and you can connect golden. The difference is that golden uh, can be connected to one another because the liquid is only going to be accelerated when it's in the golden pipes. It's not going to send the liquids away faster as it would do for regular items. Now the the other enhancement here is that these pipes they are not only able to transfer oil as with the previous release but they can transfer any kind of liquids uh, in this release of Buildcraft that means uh, lava, uh, oil obviously, water as well as fuel that I'm going to introduce earlier um, later, sorry. So transport of, of lava for instance is interesting because these engines here have been improved and they can now use different kind of items, kind of materials to create energy. Before they could only use oil, now they can use lava which is uh, a lot less efficient but you know when you get 
nothing else at the beginning of the of the game it's good enough and they can use uh, they can use fuel as well which I'm going to show you how to craft um, in a little while so here I've extracted some lava from uh, a lava deposit which is a little bit uh, further away and I'm going to extract the lava from this uh, from these tanks over here as you can see here it sends it into the pipes by the way you may notice as in the preview that the way liquids work is a little bit different the algorithm have been improved a lot uh, and now you cannot lose small amount of liquids in pipes anymore uh, as soon as you send liquids in a pipe it's going to reach a destination no matter how small the quantity is and if I open the engine interface you can see that uh, lava is being filled in the tank here one important thing uh, with regards to the new iron engines is that they are going to heat faster than the previous version uh, previously engines would only overheat if there was a an excess of power now these ones these iron engines they are going to overheat generally speaking when they are being used it's not the case for the uh, uh, stone engines but that's the case for the iron engines however uh, you may see that there is a second tank here this is not a second tank for the purpose of storing more fuel this is a tank for the purpose of uh, storing coolant and the coolant that is available in the game here is water I'm going to extract some water from this um, pump here of this lake so it's good that these pipes they can transfer liquid as well they can transfer water as well and maybe I want to sleep quickly turn the light on again okay good so now you can see the water being flowed in by the way you may notice that uh, it's traveling a lot faster than uh, in 212 so that's good there we go and now if I open the interface you can see water being filled in the uh, in the second tank here and water is going to be used to cool down the engine if the engine gets too hot um, basically if the engine is green or, or blue it's good if it turns yellow or red it means that uh, there is not enough coolant to cool it down anyway let's carry on so I've emptied this thing here uh, so that's good uh, oops and uh, I filled these engines as much as I could what I'm now going to do is uh, let's start with talking about fuel actually so it is now possible to craft these things which are uh, which are refineries and maybe I should show you how to craft it first so to craft refineries uh, you're going to need uh, some tanks diamond gears and redstone torch and here is the recipe for refineries need three tanks need two torches on the side and one gear in the middle which crafts a refinery now refinery have the ability to refine oil into fuel and fuel is going to be a lot more efficient into uh, in, in, into the engines problem is that refineries are very expensive in terms of power consumption actually here I've placed uh, three of them but that's just too much I'm going to remove two um, 
and start filling it with um, oil. Just that's a regular oil extraction here. It's nothing new. Sending the oil into the refineries. Okay, good, it's getting filled. And uh, now what I could do is to place engines next to it. Problem is that uh, they really require a lot of power to transform this oil into fuel. Thankfully, uh, with Buildcraft 2.2.0, I don't have to place all of the engines around it. What I can do is to have power production somewhere and transfer, transport that power from the power production center, from the engines, to um, any device that may require power, actually, uh, refineries, but uh, that can work for pumps, quarries, uh, builders, etc., etc. So, uh, you know, in this case, it's going to allow me to have a lot of engines providing power to these refineries. In order to do this power transfer, I need a new kind of pipe, which is conductive pipe. Uh, Let me craft them. So, as for um, the waterproof pipe, for the conductive pipes, you need an upgrade, and this upgrade is going to uh, be created through redstone. At uh, the moment, the only three kind of conductive pipe that you can do is wood, like so, stone, or gold. And the wooden conductive pipe, they have the ability to extract power from engines and they need to be placed uh, on the conductive end of the engine. Then the stone conductive pipe, they are going to be able to transfer the power to uh, somewhere else. That's the same for uh, golden conductive pipes. Problem is that uh, the stone conductive pipes, or the conductive pipe in general, they have a little power loss. There's 1% of power that is lost uh, each time you cross a conductive pipe. For the golden ones, it's only 0.1%, so they are much more efficient uh, in transferring power. Anyway, uh, let's activate the system here. I'm going to need to activate that through redstone. Yeah. Okay. Now you can see that the engines are operating and they are sending this uh, this view beam here, which is then sent all the way through here in the refineries, which starts to create this yellow thing here, which is the fuel, you know, the fuel that is going to be much more efficient in the iron engines. Um, now I can let it go like this way, or I can decide to extract the fuel from the output tank using this wooden pipe and this stone engine. There we go. So here I'm extracting the contents of these refineries and sending it all the way through these tanks. And whenever I'm happy with the quantity, whenever I want to provide it to the engines, I'm going to be able to extract from the tanks to the engines. Uh, by the way, uh, you can see that these little things on the sides are purple, means that there is not quite as enough energy to optimize the uh, process. Uh, probably we need more than four engines here, or, or otherwise I would need some other kind of fuel. Would probably work better, better with uh, with oil actually. But anyway, that just to give you an idea. Now, once again, this power transfer that can be used for anything. So here I just use that for refineries. But um, we can 
I can do as well is to use that for a query, for instance. And I've got here a couple of uh, a couple of golden pipes. The query is a little bit too far, so um, diamond pipes uh, diamond pipes are better. Um, golden pipes, sorry, are better. Now. This query I was planning to power it directly with this engine here, but actually let's just uh, use the power that I'm producing a little bit further. Mm, the system. Okay, so now you can see that there is nothing sent here, and if I connect it, I get the blue beam going all the way there and it starts to uh, extract items from from the quarry and I think I think we good uh, I showed you everything about this new release of Billcraft so once again this is only single player mode multiplayer is um, on its way but um, as usual thanks a lot for having watched the video I hope to talk to you soon um, bye bye